Hey everybody, it's me, Steven. And yes, I can say that because now I have seven subscribers. And yeah, that's enough people that can fit inside of my dad's van. Granted, one of them will have to be will have to be able to drive. And dad is taking the steps to get rid of that thing, so probably not the best analogy, but whatever. Okay, so just making a quick vlog. As you can as you can tell, this isn't the usual location I I film in. I wouldn't call it filming, but uh due to a a series of unfortunate events, I can't really record there right now. But uh th that doesn't mean I can't record. Just gotta do it in creative places. Making lemons out of lemonade. So yeah, um so anyways, I just like to say a quick congratulations to my friend, Austin. Um, his channel, uh, Vlogosphere, recently hit 80 subscribers because of this one video that got 500 views. Yeah, 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 he, he, he went viral. Yeah, and you know, so, big congratulations to him. That taught me a lesson, you know. Like, if you can just, if you can just f talk about the right topics, and, and and get and, and and snatch people's attention, and you'll be able to able to grow big fast. So, what bigger way to grab people's attention than to go to war with the Star Wars fandom? Okay, so now that we're getting all the technical technical stuff out of the way. Let's begin with the review. Okay, now. I love Star Wars. Well, at least 50% of it, that is. Um, there are some... Are, there are some movies in the trilogy that I just hate. Um, let's see. Uh, one of those examples is the newest one. Newest entry in the, in the trilogy. And that is Rogue One. Now... Now I believe. Now I believe some some Star Wars geeks is, geeks fan senses are tingling right about now, but but I have a pretty good reason for this. Now be advised, there are several spoilers for Rogue One during this review, so I highly advise you go watch the movie, then come back to this if you're willing to take that much effort for a one video. Okay, so, why do I hate the movie? Why do I hate the movie? Well, well, let's see. All the characters die at the end. I mean, seriously, you spend the whole movie getting us attached to these, to these really cool characters, and then you kill them all off. I, I'm sorry, like, if I know that I'd just be getting attached to all of these characters, characters just to see them all die, I probably would not have gone into that theater. I mean, this is just me honestly speaking. Now, I get how, how now I get how that can be seen as a good thing because it shows just how strong the hopes of the rebels are when they, when they're rebelling against Darth Vader and his buddies, but, uh, yeah, no, that's a big no-no for me. And let's see, I just think the whole film was unnecessary. I mean, it was two and a half hours long. I mean, let's see. Now, a lot of Star Wars fans are are defending it because it says it gives us a critical piece of the story. Because it tells us how Princess Leia and her buddies got a hold of the Death Star plans. I look a plane. That's cool. <sighs> Did not time that. Yeah, but, uh, honestly, I do not think that was a relevant thing. Like, like, I didn't even take notice of that when I watched it. Much less did I question where it came from. I'm sorry, I do not, I do not feel like that question deserved a two and a half hour movie. Just saying. Oh, sorry, my mouth is phoning up with foam. 
Don't worry, I'm not having a seizure. It's just really cold out here. Well, it's not cold. It's just windy, and my and I'm thirsty. Let's just resume. Okay, so that's only probably my only complaint of the story. Um, um, I'm sure there's something else I'm forgetting. Uh, no, that's it. Um, but yeah. Um, if I had a choice between Rogue One and the next and Chapter Eight of of, of the Star War, War story, I would have preferred that they just released Chapter Eight. And I'm sorry, I just feel like this was a big waste of time. And and it'll probably and, and let's see and well, it'll probably be useless to to defend to defend this, my point against all these. All these relentless Star Wars fans, but uh, just trying to get my opinion out there. Because as I said, what better way to get attention than to go to war with the Star Wars fandoms? Fandom. Now, just remember. Oh, hey, look, another plane. Jeez, what's going on? Is it? Is it emergency evacuation day? I hope not, because then I would be in big trouble. But anyways, as I was saying, uh, um, um, yeah, I was just getting this out there as one of my personal thoughts, okay? I'm not gonna, like, make a huge deal about this, since this is probably just gonna be, like, a, a big one-time, time thing, where I just stated, and that's it, like, like, if anybody even ever says anything about it online, like, I'm probably not just gonna respond to it, like, if that ever happens, but, yeah, I just want to say that real quick, give, give my fans something they could adjust to, well, so, yeah, that's all for now, but, uh, uh, uh okay, but, be safe out there, everybody, and don't be an idiot, bye!